5, looking up on the descendants of chapter 4, and you cannot trace Cain's lineage back. Cain is the ancestor of all of us Gentiles. That's our father in the flesh. That's sons of men. To be a son of God, you have to be doing the will of the Father. Well, were they rebellious back here? Yes, the sons of God. That's not angels coming down from heaven and intermarrying. Angels neither man are given in marriage. That's an old fairy tale out of Ginsburg's Legends of the Jews. And in Ginsburg's Legends of the Jews, those angels were about 11,000 feet tall, just about two-thirds is the height of Pikes Peak in Colorado Springs. Now, how they cohabitated with physical women, I don't know how you can do that. I don't know how she cooks for him. You know, gosh, I've got you. Dear, I've, she has to get a bull on. Dear, I've got your supper ready. It's soup down here in the Titan Stadium. You know, it's full of soup, you know. That's, that's the only way, I guess. Ridiculous, isn't it? That is, that comes the sons of God, and they get this out of Job, the first chapter. They say, well, the sons of God went before the sons of God went before God with Satan. If they went before God, well, they assume that sons of God are fallen angels. Fallen angels are not sons of God. How can you be a fallen angel and be a son of God when you're not doing the will of your father? So did you say sons of God are Gentiles? Huh? Is that what you said? They're Gentiles? The sons of men were Gentiles. Sons of God were the lineage, was the lineage was the lineage of the sons of God were the lineage of, of Adam through Seth in Genesis 5. When the sons of God looked at the daughters of men that they're fair, and, they, and what they produce is giants. The giants in the earth. Well, giant is not a word that means a real tall man. It's not what it means. It's the word nephil, singular, N-E-P-H, I-Y-L or Nephilim I am is plural and the Nephilim that word Nephilim it doesn't mean fallen angels it means a bully or a tyrant now Napoleon was a very little bitty man but he was a tyrant Adolf Hitler was a little man he was a tyrant he was a bully when you mix truth with a lie like Christmas you get bullies and tyrants. That's what you get. You try to go into some Baptist church I've been in and try to talk to preach about Christmas, he will bully you into the ground. We don't have that here. You won't do that. And you're not going to talk to people around here about that. We don't have those kind of questions here. You can't ask legitimate questions in these churches to try to find out what the truth is because it's going to stir up things and it's going to go against the grain and they have no answers. That's what a bully and a tyrant is. Now... These, when the sons of God looked at the daughters of men, the daughters of men were the sisters of the sons of men. Those were daughters that were descendants of Cain, and one of them evidently married Ham, took all this false doctrine, these are idol worshipers, these are righteous, and took it into the ark, came out, and the grandson of Ham started up this same system all over again when he came out of the ark. This... Messiah complex that they had. Now, 